How you doing? This is Ivan from Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People, and I'm back to share another idea to help you live more consciously. First, I want to read a little quote by the famous uh, French essayist Anaïs Nin. I believe that's how you say it. The quote is, each friend represents a world in us, a world possibly not born until they arrive. So today I want to talk a little bit about the importance of relationships in our self-development journey. So I'm going to touch upon a few ideas and in the future I, I may go more in depth. Uh, but today I just want to just give a little short introduction into why relationships are important on our self-development journey. If you have visited my channel before, you know that I'm always talking about essence and personality. So we can look at a human being as being composed of essence and personality. Here, personality is everything that we've acquired from the world. It's all our conditioning from our upbringing. And our essence is what is intrinsically ours. It's what's real in us. It's what we've brought into the world. But as we grow up, as part of how we are raised in society, we eventually get cut off from our essence. Our personality will form a hard shell over our essence to the point that most of us are completely cut off and we take our personality to be our identity. And this is the main source of our psychological suffering because by being cut off from what's real in us, we always sense that something's missing, there's a void. But if you've had a good upbringing relatively and you have a relatively well-rounded personality, then maybe you won't feel this as much as other people that didn't have a good upbringing because the personality will just be an imitation of our essence. So if you didn't have a good upbringing and your personality didn't form in a relatively good way, then you will have just holes in your personality from the disconnection of your essence. And the personality will just try to fill those holes, but the person always feels that something's not right. So our journey on our self-development journey is learning to make our personality more passive and start getting in tune and uncover our essence. And this is how we'll start to become whole again. So today, as far as relationships, I want to talk about essence because from a Sufi standpoint, they identified seven essence types. And these are pure essence types. And out of these seven pure essence types, you will also get combined essence types. So the reason this is important is because if you can discover what your essence is, what's your predominant essence type, it will give you a wealth of information as far as how you can become more well-rounded. So although there are seven pure essence types, each essence type has all the other essences <laughs> within it. It's just that with each type, there's a predominant quality and characteristic of the essence. And the interplay between the essence and our personality and all these various essence types explains all the various different people that you encounter in life. So this is the reason that it's important that you learn to seek out all types of people because by interacting and working with other people you will be able to uncover and discover various qualities and aspects of your essence and learn to develop and become more well-rounded. This is why it's very important. You know, we all know the famous saying that birds of a feather flock together, which is, you know, it's always nice that if you can find people that are on the same page and have similar interests and you can grow that way. But it's also important, as I said, to find a diverse set of people and relationships you can work with. That's why in the past, many mystery schools, they would try to assemble their students among a lot of diversity so that they could benefit from working with each other because in that type of environment of all these various different types of people and essence types, 
they would create a friction of working within each other and then they would be able to uncover and learn about various aspects of their, their own selves that they wouldn't otherwise if they just only hung around people that are similar to them. So that's the message for today guys is learn to reach out and interact with people from all walks of life because they can show you and you can learn to discover things within yourself that by interacting with this person otherwise you wouldn't be able to. So it's a great way to become conscious of a lot of things that you may never be able to become conscious of if you don't interact with a particular type of person. So that's, that's it for today guys. I just wanted to get across the importance of interacting with various types of people and not only sticking with people that you like and that have similar interests and that you would classify as being like-minded. So it's important that you get a taste of everything. And, and understanding all these various types as you progress on your self-development journey, you will just become more skillful at dealing with all types of people because you will be able to tap into that part of you that this person has made you conscious of. So then you can learn to put yourself in other people's shoes in a deeper way. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I recommend that you check out some of my playlists. If you're new to my channel, you'll find a wealth of information there. And also subscribe and hit the little notification bell. That way you're notified when I upload new videos. And check me out on Instagram if you want to see little inspirational messages uh, constantly. Uh, it's the same handle, Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People. And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace. <laughs>